afternoon. I'm your host, Yvette Casada of YQTV. Allow me to extend a warm welcome to all of our guests visiting from around the world to attend Miami's second annual Emerge America's Tech Show. We are back bigger, better than ever since the world shut down from COVID-19. We have some very exciting speakers that are going to grace the stage during this two-day event. Now, I'm Yvette Quesada, the host of YRQ TV, and I'm coming here live from Emerge Americas. I found these two lovely two jewels here, you know, telling me about their business. They are starting a new business, so they're a startup, all right? So, but you can invest in them, all right? Because they're trying to go big, and that's what we want to do. We want to scale them. We want to help them reach their heights, all right? And we can do that. Janelle, the CEO and co-founder of Clevin, fashion aggregation platform by women for women. He's not technically included. <laughs> not, you hear that? He's not included. So ladies, don't be calling here trying to hit my DM to find out who this is. Okay? <laughs> All right, but, but we have Mr. Curtis Brown over here. How you guys doing? Thank you, thank you. Um, I am here representing my sister on her behalf for Clevin. So I'm just here as brotherly support. Um, I don't know too much about, no, I'm just playing. I know a lot about Clevin, but she is the CEO and I'm just here to support what she's doing. That's beautiful. And I, I know he doesn't want to take any light off of, of what his sister's doing, but he has a unique thing too. But we, that's why I'm trying to just rep them both. He's being super modest. He really is. But I was walking by this beautiful young lady here just was explaining things to my camera guy, but I want um, And we take uh, the top, the retail, the clearance sections from top retailers like me. Macy's, Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus, aggregate them, put them all on one platform on Clevin. Yes. So our BFFs, Bargain for Fashionistas, okay. are women that like to shop, but they're frugal. They want to have money for other things. Myself, I wanted to buy a house, but I and I was doing law, so I needed a lot of clothes for right. things. I didn't spend that kind of money on clothes but I wanted them to be nice so I would just shop clearance and I realized that there is no easy way to do it that's why I decided that we need to develop Clevin. That's awesome so this so you're saying this is a better way than going to the thrift this is not thrift store shopping. No 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 so it's what you do when you go to the store in general right most of us beeline it for the sale or clearance right, right? but then you know that there's more options online so now it's going to be even more options because you have all these stores that you would go to in one place okay they're already aggregation kind of platforms out there but the crazy thing is women are the vast majority of aggregator users yes. but we are the significant minority Absolutely. of aggre aggregator owners sorry no worries can you see me now yeah go ahead show oh. up okay she gonna do a little dance you see that hey okay um <laughs> So yeah, so we are, you know, a significant minority of people that are owning the aggregation platforms. And aggregators are big business, um, especially in this space. Uh, we have aggregators coming out of like the Netherlands that did, you know, advance 11,000% at the start of the pandemic. And people are only getting more and more into the aggregation space. So I'm out here trying to build up Clevin to what it can be. I'm originally from Chicago. Like we were just talking about- in the house. We, you know, we were, I was born in a project. Uh, we made our way up and the way that we made our way up was A, by being frugal, B, by, you know, just having a focus on something. I focused on law. I practiced law for a few years okay. before I started Clevin, but now Clevin is my baby. That's beautiful. So how did you come up with Clevin? And even the name, how did you come up with that name? Oh, man. I I was sitting in my office. <laughs> Don't tell the clients. This. <laughs> uh -oh. All right, clients, close your ears. Don't be listening, okay? Don't be listening. Because no, I had the idea for a long time before like, I branched you out. Getting out the shop. Oh, you got to see. You, I man. had the idea for a long time before I branched out to do it. Right. And then I was just in the office, like scribbling. You know, oh, clearance collective. I have a whole thing where a notebook where it says all the names I was thinking of. Wow. And that one, Clevin, just stuck with me. I was like, this is. I'm creating a 
clearance heaven where you know women you can come in we're serving you clearance on a silver platter you do not have to go and search around our website to find your clearance clearance is right here we know what you came for exactly. there you go exactly yeah beautiful Thank beautiful you. okay so brotherly love over here <laughs> <laughs> all right so I know that you're supporting sis but there yes. is something that you're also doing that's pretty unique that well it's not unique because I think people do it but not you, you explain it okay. explain it because okay. I'm gonna mess so, it all up you just, just talk yes, about what well, you do I'm, I'm here supporting my sister I normally don't like taking a shine especially when Lies. someone is me <laughs> oh y'all hear that <laughs> she is spilling the beans live y'all tough now though <laughs> no but um I own a kids boutique called Laugh World Kids Boutique in Jacksonville Florida Ooh. um sorry so, Laugh World Kids Boutique um, is based in Jacksonville, Florida. I sell some of the top brands there are um, in streetwear, but for kids. Like, I carry brands as such as Psycho Bunny, Kappa, Billionaire Boys Club, um, Lacoste, um, Laughing Wolf, um, just a few of the brands that I carry that, you know, nobody else does. And I found a market for it, and I opened back in 2020 during COVID in August, the worst time to ever do anything. But I started with a small budget and after after a year or so it just it grew. So that is that is all. I'm I'm just here That's now nice. though today just to support my sister. Okay, so I, I, I love this. I, I mean it's so nice to just see two brothers and sisters out here doing business together, trying to make sure each each of them level up together. That's a beautiful thing. But now if anyone wanted to reach out to you to want to know more about your business and your platform, where, where, where would they go? So they could come to my LinkedIn. I'm Danella Williams, D-A-N-E-L-L-A, -L -L -A, Williams on LinkedIn. But also you can come over to our site. We do have a, a holder site up right now. It's called Shop Clevin, C-L-E-A-V-N. And you can come over there and we have a waiting list for people to join so that they can test our beta version. Um, so once we're done, once we're done building up, our beta will be available, and okay. the first the people on that list will be the first users of Clevin. Oh, okay. Yes, okay. and they'll they'll probably be the first ones in Clevin Anonymous as well, because it's gonna be addictive. Okay. <laughs> okay. But the good kind of addictive. Okay. So, are you taking any angel? As an angel. VC, if you're a pre-seed VC, etc., we are taking it. Um, we're raising right now. We just finished uh, our prototype. The prototype has all of the back end done. Okay. So we're just looking for the front end development and to hire on a couple more individuals. Okay. Once we get that done, once we get the hiring done, we have okay. three months to build out that front end, and then the MVP will be done. We already have the beta testers uh, okay. up for already uh, listed for us. Right. Then we'll start testing. And that, but we're raising about five hundred thousand okay. dollars. That five hundred thousand dollars will give us about nine months to twelve months of runway. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have another question since you mentioned hiring. Mm -hmm. So, if somebody wanted to start working with you right now, mm -hmm. what are you looking for? Go ahead, tell Ooh. me. Because somebody out there watching might know how to do what you need. So let them know. The, the biggest thing we need right now is that front end development. So we need to develop out our client. Um, my CTO, he's a back end developer. And what that means is he's the one that does uh, kind of our API data integration. But for the front end is where the cu it's customer facing. So it's what our cu customers are going to interact with. Okay. We're looking for people that have skills at that, specifically in the e-commerce or marketplace uh, realm. World. Okay. Mm -hmm. So y'all hear that? If you know anything about um, but optimization and um, I see what is it IPOs and and all <laughs> yeah. IPO, all, all of that mm -hmm. PPOs and DDOs and you know OOOs somebody that knows know somebody. Somebody. there you go you know you can hit me in my DM and I will connect you to Clevin or just go right to her LinkedIn okay mm -hmm. so I want to thank everyone for watching and joining and I see a couple of wave hands up there Bye. so that's the end I enjoyed so I'm going to go find some more um, people that's starting some business out here so we can talk to okay so stay tuned all right stay keep tuned. watching Keep watching.